Okay, so we're going to install AutoCAD LT 2014. Now, there are a lot of ways to get the software from Autodesk. You can download the file from their website. You can order it, get it on CD, DVD, possibly, or on like a USB flash drive. Regardless of how you get the file, it will install the same software in the same way. Put the disk in, put the drive in, or run the file that you've downloaded. It will either extract the files, or it'll come right up here to this spot. Once you get here, this is where you want to install AutoCAD LT. Pick the language, which is probably already picked for you because you downloaded the proper one. For the purpose of this video, all we're really going to cover is the install button here. The rest of this, these two buttons here, are for deployments across the network. So if you are a CAD manager you know, or an IT manager and you need to install your AutoCAD LT software on multiple machines, you can use some of these tools. But we're not going to cover that here. Now you might want to check to make sure that your hardware on your computer matches with what Autodesk says it should be. You can click on these system requirements and that will take you to Autodesk's website and it will tell you the minimum hardware that you need to run AutoCAD LT. Now that you've checked all that out, click on the install button right here. Select your country. I'm in the United States. You can just click here and then browse to where you need to go. You have to accept these terms to be able to install the software. Click next. Here again, it asks you for your language. Now, this is where you need to put in your product key and serial number. If you have purchased the software, you'll enter the serial number here and here and then the product key. If you enter them in correctly, a green check mark will be displayed here and then here. Now, if you haven't purchased the software and you're only going to use the 30 day option, just click here. Even though you've clicked this, you can still purchase the software and enter in your product key at any time. So maybe you want to try out AutoCAD LT first, get to know it a little bit, and then buy it. That's what's nice about Autodesk products. They give us a 30-day trial period for all of their programs. So once this is done, click Next. Now comes the deployment part. If you click here to set up your configuration, the install menu here will check and make sure that there are no more updates or service packs that need to be downloaded and installed first. If they are, they'll show up here in this list. And if there are some updates, hot fixes or anything, I suggest that you go ahead and install them now. So click on the custom and click this box twice. What that does is it unselects all of these other things that you're going to get. And then when you click it again, it will select everything. You're going to want all of these things added in on your machine. Now this whole entire package will take 1.26 gigabytes. That's what's required. Now, if you don't have enough room, well, then you're going to need to turn some of these things off. So once this is all selected, just click back on this arrow. It'll bring this back up. And this is the installation path. This is where the program will be installed. And I suggest you leave that as the default, unless you have a special place where you put all of your programs. And then that's fine. So once this is all set, click on the install button. So now that you're finished, just click on the finish button or to the desktop icon that was installed and open up AutoCAD LT and let's get going.